any business, I don't care what size, um, but especially SMBs should not overlook basic cyber hygiene because of what, uh, in, in lieu of trying to like defend against an O-Day, right? So you're going to hear about O-Days in the news. Yeah, you should have them defense against it. But listen, you need to do the basic blocking and tackling. You need to do the basics really, really good. You need to harden your infrastructure. You need to do the, the easy thing. Do the easy things because they're easy and they're effective and you should do those things all the time. Um, yeah, you should have some some understanding of zero days, but you should not, this is not where you should be putting your eggs. You need to be putting your eggs into the basics. I mean, there's, and there's tons of different frameworks out there. Get the NIST cybersecurity framework, do this, the CIS uh, 20 controls, whatever. Do those things. Um, they're not hard, um, but do them well and do them every day and you will make yourself a harder target. And then once you have those things in and implemented and you do those well, now you can start thinking about, okay, where else, where else am I vulnerable? What does zero day impact me? If you're going to go throw, try to throw all your eggs in the zero day, and you're going to leave the low hanging fruit. Hackers are lazy. When I was a red team guy, lazy, lazy, lazy. I'm going to take the easiest way possible. So that means if, listen, if, if you're going to leave default credentials sitting on your network for your, your, your NAS equipment or something like that, I'm going to, I'm going to brutalize those every day of the week. If you're going to have crappy passwords for your, for your domain admins, I'm going to grab those and I'm going to crack those. I'm going to use those against you stop doing those things, right? Do the basics well, and then let's worry about some of these other things too. So 